Aloha everybody, this is me, Mickey Mouse here from the Boxy Toys here, and welcome to our remade Let's Play of, if you can guys clearly tell from the title, that, um, well, you soon find out. Sega. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the, welcome to our remade Let's Play of Sonic Riders Zero Gravity for the release of Nintendo Wii, because you can tell from the, um, the top left screen of that corner, it says, like, licensed by Nintendo, it's because of the, you know, this Nintendo Wii version will be playing, and, um, I decided to reason to actually going to be doing this re remake Let's Play of this game is because... I originally did done this back in 2012 during the um, the October month, where the um, the month on that year we're about to be celebrating releasing Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, and um, as far as the um, the look of the um, the original playthrough of that game, um, it kind of feels like overly really badly um, really badly made, and I decided that you know what. I might just go ahead and do this um, remake let's play thanks to our capture card and hopefully the quality itself may actually be look impressive than the ones in um you know my crappy camera recording so um yeah and hopefully the commentary may actually be more um intrusive this time around so yeah so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna race file three and I'm gonna rate and I'm gonna create my file three into my regular name Mickey Mouse because I'm the host of this playthrough today, or in this case, just in the entire playthrough of this game. You know, since I actually done this before, back in uh, you know, back in June 2012, that was during uh, three years ago, in fact. All right, so let's create um, file number three. And yeah, every time when you create the file, it actually going to force you to use the Wii remote horizontally. But screw that. Let's just go ahead and change the control setups to the old-fashioned GameCube controller. GameCube controller will have to be one of the best control schemes in this game. Just don't use the Wii remote either the horizontally or vertical. Vertical will have to be the worst control scheme. Because, uh, well, I'll explain to that when we actually get into it. But um, for now, though, let's switch into the Nintendo GameCube controller. Now, if you ever play Super Smash Bros. Brawl or Night's Journey of Dreams on the Nintendo Wii, then you probably recommend you use the GameCube controller because it might be really useful. Especially Sonic Unleashed as well. And even Sonic Colors as a result. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. And most like the original game that um, we're about to be um, just focusing on story mode. And not, uh, we're originally going to go for the extra stuff that how this game has to offer. But, you know, most like the first game, that's not going to happen. So... Oh yeah, if you purchase the Wii version exclusively, you can actually get yourself some World Rankings mode. That meaning that this game actually has an internal Wi-Fi connection, so... Yeah, also the PlayStation 2 version does not have it. But, um... Yeah, since this game was actually a sequel to Sonic Riders, the, the, the original Sonic Riders did came out in 2006, and then this game did actually came out in 2008, both on a Nintendo Wii and a PlayStation 2. Oh yeah, every time when you're trying to, uh, trying to compete, I'll oh, just try to get started with story mode, in this case, hero story, you have to put up with the tutorial stuff. At least if you're first time playing this game, you have to select yes, but if you're a fan's player like I do, then I might not go show you the tutorial stuff, but, um, yeah, and if you select no, you actually get yourself a tutorial option, so, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. I think this is the same when you actually leave the title screen on, or when you start the game up. Meteotech has not yet issued a 
Is this the meteor that fell last night? Yeah. The sound of the impact woke me from my sleep, and I found it outside. <sighs> we'll be at Megalo Station shortly. So here we go with the first um, course throughout the game, and um, you remember how in Sonic Riders is that um, during the first two stages when you actually start off your own mission that you have to get onto top three of the one of the positions, but in this game however you do need to get all in first place in all of the stages this time around, because you know just like how it does in the Babylon story in the first game. and. Um, yeah, so we have to invade the um, robot's assault, so, you know, get first place then. So, what we'll do is get going on to Megalo Station, the first stage of the game. And then, um, usually just like in the first game, we do have ourselves a running start here. And, um, so here's the gimmick of um, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity is that um, even though you're still able to compete against with the um, the races out there, along with um, the, um, well, you know, just simply racing in the, uh, the track itself. Now, the only difference is this time around is that, um, well, usually back in the first game, you, you can actually press the B button to actually just to, ki uh, just to simultaneously boost and not to use that often because, um, well, obviously you're wasting your air. So, um, instead of the air uh, meter, you actually have yourselves a gravity points. Yes, this game actually has a gravity system. Basically, when you come across into those tight corners, that um, you can actually just uh, press start with a B button while just uh, activating a gravity uh, drift kind of scenario. It almost kind of reminds me of that drift from um, Sonic Riders the first game had. But, um... Yeah, and also performing tricks is a lot different this time around, is that um, rather than just actually hold down in the A button until you actually uh, just to build up to charge up your jump, biggest jump as well as your tricks, but in here you can actually just only press only one button until you actually go right near to the ramp. So it's all about the timing requirements going on, so, you know. And also if you hold down the R button, assuming if you play this on a Nintendo GameCube controller, that you can actually do a gravity dive. So basically you can actually perform that move when you actually get into those specific um, sections. And then basically, you know, just about to zoom across the level. And also there are occasionally in some moments throughout you can actually go through these dash little dash um, dash um, little things that um, you can actually zoom in. Another thing that's been changed from the first game is the grinding system is that um, Basically that, you know, Sonic is usually a speed type character, just like how it does in the first game. But unlike the first game, you can actually, um, when you have to like press A and then just time it just right just to get onto the rail grinding or rail grinder in the first game. But in here, it's actually pretty simple and easy just to get onto those rail grindings this time around. When you jump in, when you're almost gonna jump into the, um, you know, the rail grinding there, it's now simple and easy just to, you know, just keep on straight on going so yeah when you jump it automatically does it for you 
So, yeah. So, um... Yeah, there's not much I can talk about, and, um, you know, just like the first game, it does have a little, um, speed types and fly types and power types thing. But I'll explain it uh, during, like, the walk throughout this playthrough, so yeah, that's Megalow Station. And then, we have to race against those different types of robots. It almost kind of reminds me of those robots designed from Sonic 06, but um, I prefer these over Sonic 06's, um, robot types, even though they still look a bit weird at first. And every time when you complete the, uh, the stage, you actually get some submissions, which... That's why I um, definitely haven't mentioned it during the, um, the Sonic Riders playthrough. But anyways... On to the next level then. They don't give a guy a break, huh? We can't just stand around here. Right. Whoa! Get to! Amy, what are you doing here? Fated lovers are always drawn together, silly. Amy? <laughs> okay, you got me. I was running away from those robots. I was so scared. Uh, hey! What's that? The cause of all my troubles. I picked it up and those stupid robots came after me. So that's it. Those things must be after this stone. I guess that settles it then. The key to solving this mystery is Meteotech. Hey, Sonic, we got company. Okay, here we go. So here we go with the second stage, and we have to escape the robot's um, trap and get to the media attack. And once again, we have to be in first place in order to do that. So, um, yeah, the next stage we'll be hit off to is... Baratical Kingdom. It appears to be a jungle level. So, um, yeah. And Tails, once again, he's actually a flying type character, and uh, just like before, you can actually go through um, those dash rings. However, there's another thing I haven't re really mentioned this during the first race, is that um, the leveling up system is actually um, a little bit different this time around. So when you collected enough rings in um, the first game, when you collect up to either 100 rings, you fully max it up into, you fully maximized up to like, um, well, level 3. But, I um, mean, here, you actually have ourselves a little, um, gear parts to, um, um, some change gear system. Is that, you, you do have three, three amount of slots you can actually just about to get through. The first one, which, as you can see, I managed to use those rings to, um, get a gear up to, like, max speed up. So, in this way, though, I was able to get, um, ourselves a good amount of speed whenever I was catching up to these opponents. So... As far as you guys probably can tell already, as far as the, the review scores of this, um, it did have a mixed reviews of this game, but honestly I don't think that's, I don't think this game wasn't that bad. It feels a lot of fun though to me, just like how it does in the first game. Now a lot of people seem to think that um, the um, these um, in-game model cutscenes are actually a bit similar to some the original Sonic Riders, but a watered down version. It almost kind of reminds me of how it does it for um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 and as well as Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Like, uh, between those two games, they have this exact same visual style. But um, in Budokai 3, that it has some really colorful visuals and just much more nice shading to it. But in Infinite World, it actually has a watered down um, visuals from the ones in um, Budokai 3. But anyways, I managed to upgrade into the air ride, and basically what air ride can do is that you can actually able to actually use the air ride, or in this case, dash rings, you know, just like how it does in the first game. And just like the first game, you have to maneuver through the, um, the dash rings until you actually won't fall off into the bottomless pit down below. So, yeah, just to keep your heads up here. And we're sure enough, we can actually tra traverse through inside the honey hive, it seems like it. Anyway, 
Um, another thing I'd like to point out is that, um, since, well, um, you know, as far as Steph already mentioned this journey on the first Sonic Riders game, is that, um, we're basically not going to be tackling through the third Sonic Riders game called Sonic Free Riders because, for one, we don't have the game, plus the Kinect, two, that, um, I just think this game, or oh, that game, really sucks because of that motion controls involved. Which, that's the reason why I perfectly stick and prefer the, um, Nintendo GameCube controller set up on um, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, as well as Sonic Riders, don't forget about that, because um, you probably won't recommend you guys using the Wii Remote, because it, again, the Wii Remote actually acts the um, controls as a motion controls. And that's why that um, I just don't think Sonic Wii Riders wasn't that particularly that good of a game, because you have to use the Kinect a lot. But anyway, Enough about that little things there, so, um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and dash through the honey hive right here, and hopefully we'll finish this video just about now. So, next time on Let's Play Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, is that we're about to be hit on to the third stage, which, um, we're about to be approached into the meteor tech, so, um, and see what the, um, how the robots came here in the first place. So, see you guys next time. Later, fellas.